At the ripe old age of 15, I discovered my passion for remediation. I discovered my passion for the environment much sooner. I am an Albertan born and bred. I grew up in the shadows of the Rocky Mountain, spending my summers fishing on the bow and camping in Kananaskis. I learned to love to explore the outdoors and from a young age became passionate about understanding the beauty and the wonder all around me. It's not surprising that intrigued by a province as diverse in its landscape as ours, that one of my first words was why. And since I asked that first why, I've never stopped asking them. My most important why came the summer I turned 15. I was in the alley behind my house when I saw a dandelion. Now, I can almost guarantee that a dandelion sighting in the summer in Calgary is really not that rare. But there was something about this particular dandelion that piqued my interest. This dandelion wasn't growing in a field or in a garden. It was growing through the asphalt, which I knew to be hydrocarbon based. I began to question why dandelions are able to grow in harsh environments that usually exclude other plants. And being fairly committed to finding the answer, I set out to determine just what allowed these dandelions to possess this unique quality. It turns out that dandelions are able to accumulate and form symbiotic relationships with soil fungi that actually enable them to grow in fairly harsh environments. Since my first interaction with dandelions six years ago, I've created two methods of fungi-based remediation to tackle some of the environmental issues and contamination in our province and around the world and have recently even started my very first company, Michael Remedy, with the goal of transforming the way we remediate, making remediation not only accessible the world over, but making it completely natural right here at home. One of my favorite thinkers, Albert Einstein, once said that imagination is more important than knowledge, and I'm not sure I've heard anything I believe is more true. Innovation, the theme of tonight's Emerald Awards, unlocks unlimited potential. There are so many things that are left to be discovered, to be invented, and to be understood. Imagination and innovation are the keys. Innovators, not unlike dandelions that with the right conditions can push through asphalt, grow persistently anywhere. Anyone and everyone can be innovative. All it takes is someone who's willing to look at things differently and who's passionate enough to keep at it until they find the solutions they're searching for and in passionate enough to ensure their ideas are realized and shared. There is no one kind of innovator. There isn't a degree or a field, a particular discipline, background, age, or history that breeds innovation. Innovation is our ability to take our own unique experiences and biases and to look at something in our own special and creative way. Take me for example, a 15 year old kid with a crazy idea who is able to create a solution to a problem that researchers often times twice my age and always with a university degree had been working on solving for years. If that doesn't convince you, that every single one of us has the ability to be innovators and to make a difference, I'm not sure what would. Alberta, as a province, uh, has a history of innovation. It all started years ago, when we developed innovative and novel methods to extract energy from new sources that had previously rendered themselves untapped. That same spirit led us to create an industry that has become ingrained in our province and our country's identity. Over the past decades, we've developed technologies that have transformed the way that industry works even further and enabled us to minimize and control our impacts on the environment as we progressed. The past 25 years have been a time of great change and growth when it comes to environmental excellence in our province. The next 25 years will prove even more important. As we move into the future, I hope our past guides us and we become even stronger in our environmental stewards, continuing to innovate in a way that allows us to both restore our environment and improve our relationship with it. The world is watching, closer now than ever before. 
we can't deny that we do have room to grow. But the environmental innovation that is taking place in our province is something to be celebrated, something that should be shared proudly with the world. Our province has a culture of innovation, from the ranks of our youth who have committed themselves to creating community initiatives, to industry who has supported and incorporated the work of our province eco-heroes. All across our province, our industries, our communities, our government, and most importantly, our everyday Albertans have dedicated their lives to environmental excellence. Over the past 25 years, we've witnessed an incredible transformation in our province and our relationship with the awe-inspiring world around us. Let's be proud of what we've achieved. Just like dandelions, pushing through and rising strong, persevering through unlikely conditions. I have great hopes of what we will achieve over the next 25 years. Thank you.